Hi everybody, this is Saeed. Here's an aquaponic system I designed. Um, it's a combination of three different aquaponic systems. Uh, one is a NFT system, as you see here, this nutrient film transfer, uh, which uses PVC pipes. I'll explain it with a little bit more detail in a minute. And the second system it incorporates is a grow bed system, which uses gravel as a grow bed and uses a bathtub. And the third system it incorporates is a raft system with the roots of the plants always in water. Uh, so basically what you need for this is two, two pumps. One is an air pump and one, one is a submersible water pump, uh, which uh, pumps the nutrient-rich uh, water from the, from the aquarium or your uh, pond up to the swirl filter. Now for a system like this, you would definitely need a swirl filter to uh, clear out the nutrient-rich uh, uh, water from all the uh, organic material. Uh, swirl filters are very easy to make. It's basically one barrel. This one uses two barrels. It's a little bit more effective, but you can do it with just one barrel. So the water from the water pump comes here and through this elbow starts going around, swirling around this uh, big barrel slowly and the sediments will, uh, will settle at the bottom, all the organic material, and uh, the rest of the water, the cleared out water, will slowly drain out of this pipe and go to your system and start feeding that. So as you see, the water would come d down here and uh, feed the roots of all these plants, go down here and go down here and then it will drain into this to the next system. Now there can be a slight angle on these uh, pipes. Uh, I recommend uh, about two or three uh, degrees angle. So you need to allow for that, have enough room going up and down the wall. So the, the water would come down here and uh, fill up this grow bed. And then this grow bed uses a bell siphon uh, to drain it. Uh, if, if you'd like to see how a bell siphon works, please check out the link at the end of this video. Uh, I will explain how, how it works and how it's made. So after the water reaches the, the drain point, it drains all and uh, goes into the raft system. Now the raft system is always full of water. It's not like like the Grobet system. Grobet system, it fills up and it drains completely. It fills up and drains completely. The cycle continues. But the raft system is, uh, the roots are always in water. And the, for that, you need to have a air pump because you need to pump oxygen into the water all the time. Otherwise, you're going to get root rot. And then the water from there drains back into the pool and the cycle continues. Now for the sizes of the uh, pipes, uh, you can experiment with that, but uh, what I'm using is I use a one inch pipe for the outlet of the pump to the swirl filter and also uh, this, this part and this part and this part and this is one inch. Uh, this one I allow one and a half inches. And then uh, these PVC pipes are uh, four inches diameter. And uh, depending on what sort of a uh, net cups you will find, you will have to drill holes to accommodate those. Also, the PVC pipe coming out of the bell siphon uh, in the second uh, system, the grow bed, I would choose that to be one and a half inches also. And as you see here, the uh, grow bed system is supported by concrete blocks. This could uh, be a bathtub. That's what I'm going to use because I have an extra bathtub in the house. Uh, it could also be a plastic tub or it could be uh, something you build out of concrete blocks and seal it so the water doesn't drain out. And the raft system could be made out of any of those uh, materials as well. One thing you need to uh, take into account when you design your system though is the grow bed gets uh, fed with the nutrient rich water from the top and it drains from the bottom. Okay. 
by the way of a bell siphon. The raft system gets fed the nutrient rich water from the top and it drains from the top, basically the same level. So you need to keep those into account. Like if you build this one and this one out of concrete, like, uh, like a mini pool, uh, you need to have the inlet and the drains uh, incorporated in there beforehand. So make sure you pay attention to that. Also another thing you want to take into consideration is the depth of the grow bed and the depth of the raft system. The grow bed, if you're using a bathtub, is going to be about 40-45 centimeters, which is fine. And the, the raft system needs to be a minimum of 30 centimeters. Uh, in both cases, you need minimum of 30 centimeters. Uh, if it's more, better. But uh, less, uh, you will run into trouble. Um, but generally, the more water you have in your system, in your pond, in your uh, raft system, and in your grow bed system, the more stable your uh, your whole system will become and less prone to uh, swings in pH or in ammonia so the more water you have the safer you are basically one last recommendation I have to make is uh, when you get ready to build the setup here it's best to start from the back end from where it starts draining and back to the pool uh, build your raft system, then build your grow bed system, then build your NFT system and your swell filter, and then work your way back to the beginning. The reason for that is, uh, for example, if you, uh, your drain here, uh, you might want to have it a little bit higher, so as it uh, goes back into the pond, it will splash and aerate the water. So that would raise this bed, the the raft system that would raise it a little bit. If you raise this, you have to raise this and raise this and raise that. So it's just best to start from this end and work your way back to the beginning. Thank you very much for watching. Now if you want to see a step-by-step -step video on how to make a grow bed aquaponic system, um, I will put a link for you here. And uh, this video is a little bit long, it's about 17 minutes, but it explains pretty much everything you need to know to get started. It includes uh, doing the bell siphons, adjusting them for back pressure, and uh, everything else you need to know to get started. Thank you, this is Saeed.